hundred pound roller. This is gonna hurt, no doubt. Not the brightest thing I've tried, but let's see if it works. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. It's Peter here at the Reboot. Another gorgeous day out here in Eastern Ontario. Let me tell you what I'm up to today. I need to get up on the roof and change the underlayment material that is currently on there. Right now, I'm gonna call what we have up there standard. And when I mean standard, it's just this material here. Comes in these rolls. What's it called here? Anyway, there's a store, it's an underlayment. Now, we've changed the steel product that we're putting up there on the roof. And it's also a 212 pitch, which means it's a very shallow pitch. And instead, we're going with something which, God, I can't even remember what the name of the steel product is. But it's something designed for low pitch roofs and the manufacturer says you should put a high temperature peel and stick roof underlayment so i've got 12 of these boxes i believe i started with one already up there that i finished so i need to get a couple more of those rolls up on the roof and start taking some of that other material off you know the rolls that we put up there there are a couple right there that I removed yesterday. The rolls that we put up there in total cost about 280 bucks. This material, it's underneath. This material that you're seeing right here, these 12 rolls cost about 2,500 Canadian dollars. So there's quite a cost difference. Yes, I have, uh, unfortunately burned nearly $300 on that other material that we put up on the roof but at the end of the day it was up on the roof and kept it weather tight for the better part of a week which was important believe it or not while some other work was being done inside the house yeah the other thing that's interesting about this product and I've checked with the manufacturer I've checked with this manufacturer and I've checked with the manufacturer of the steel product that's coming ideal roofing materials from Ottawa, big factory up there in Ottawa, Ideal Steel, or roofing, I can't remember which one it is exactly. You do not have to strap the roof with this product. High temperature, that's the big deal apparently. Because of that, you can put the steel right on top of that and drill right into the OSB. I think I've had another question or comment about that. And yes, that is approved and allowable. All right, let's get back up top and get some more of this underlayment installed. Forty pounds of roll. that's what I need to get going here so what I'm gonna do for everybody is put you guys on time-lapse and let's see how this unfolds I'm doing this by myself so my approach is to take two to three of these rows of this previous underlayment off here you can see me just separating the fourth one above and get them out of the way because then I would literally work 
whether I was working to do uh, three hour shifts, let's say it, morning or afternoon, I would target to try to replace this area with the new underlayment and then I might quit. I might go and do some other tasks or head home for the day. So I didn't clear the whole roof of the previous underlayment, but again, like two to three rolls at a time, and I tried to knock it out that way. Again, working by myself takes a bit of time. Without question, the most important part of this job is to make sure that the area you're putting down this peel and stick is clean, of debris, nails, staples, anything. Now in my situation, I'd obviously introduced this issue of a whole bunch of staples that I had to make sure were either removed or nailed down so that this peel and stick could go on without any damage. Now the peel and stick, not easy. And this is my first time ever working with a product like this. So you can see I already had two rows down already. Here's another roll I've just laid out. And the underside has this removable film that you have to get out and it's split down the middle of that sheet. So you have to take it out from one side and the other side. A little bit tricky and you're going to see me starting to peel this out in just a second. So there it comes, that gray film. I get better at doing this, but this was a little tricky and a little bit challenging to get used to. So you get a few feet out, you make sure that initial few feet are then in place sticking to the OSB and then you can really motor on in terms of getting this film out from underneath. The film is covering the tar-like substance, substance on the underside and you pull that out and it sticks and then I grab that roller, that hundred pound roller, become disrupted or distracted with a few phone calls or some emails. Anyways, hit it with the roller vertical and then lengthwise. You want to make sure that's sticking. A lot of dew up here on the roof. This is the new material that I've been putting down, the peel and stick, and I've been taking off all that gray material, which is just stapled down. It's done its job, but it's not what we need underneath the metal roof. Oh, I'm thinking I might give this another hour to dry off. I enjoy the solitary work from time to time. You set a plan, get busy with a task, and then just keep working away at it. And before you know it, it's done. You've completed the task, reached the objective, and the work is done.
Good morning everyone. I'm back up here on the roof. I really was busy yesterday. I think I did seven rows all the way up here to the ridge line of the roof. I've got about a foot left to do. Oh, Ooh. I gotta tell you, putting this stuff on over the last few days, I haven't been killing myself, you know, two or three hours a day. Yesterday I did about six hours. There's rain in the forecast, maybe in about four or five hours from now. Today, so I obviously wanted to get a lot done yesterday. It was a bit of work yesterday. Whew. Okay, let's get this last roll in place, get this roof dried in 100%. And once it's dried in with that last roll that goes on, then it's the job of tackling the steel panels for this roof. So I have it half attached, as I mentioned this morning. I'm now going to take off this film and then I have to flip it all essentially at once. And with the wind, ooh, when this stuff sticks to itself, it's not pretty. Oh, and uh, you know, you want to work a little problem while doing a roof job? I'm your guy. I grabbed my leftover rolls, cut them in half, and was hoping that that would be enough to patch the mess. So, I don't know if you can see it there, so about two feet from the end, the patching started, and I've just run out here, so I've got a foot there, and then I've got about, I don't know what that is, eight or ten feet there. So I've got to dip into that last roll that we thought we were going to return and put it to use. Let's see if we can see the dead soldiers down there. Oh yeah, there's some of the death and the destruction. All the patching is complete. It is weather tight up here. Not the prettiest final row, but I've got all the overlaps required by the manufacturer, which is uh, six inches side to side, left to right, and a three inch overlap lengthwise. So there you go. Not the greatest end to that exercise. Let me grab this weight and we're all done up here. <laughs> 